Hey guys, what's going on? Um, Dale here from Freedman Gaming. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be playing Star Wars Battlefront 2. So I'm just waiting for this to load in. So like I said, today we are going to be playing the Star Wars Battlefront 2, and we are going to be playing the campaign today. Um, we will probably play some of the online stuff, but that will be at a later date. Um, I really want to try out the campaign because I've not played it yet. Um, I'm excited to find out what the storyline is going to be like, um, with the destruction of the Death Star and all, and what happens next with this um, secret task force, as you would like to call it. Um, but, well, whatever you like to call it. Um, I have noticed a message there um, saying that the servers will be down for maintenance um, right about 10 o'clock. Um, well, I don't need to worry about that because, like I said, we are playing campaigns, so we don't need to worry about the online stuff. Um, for those of you that are new to Star Wars Battlefront 2, um, when you first load it up, you actually get to choose which sides you want to fight for. So the two sides that you get to fight for are obviously the resistance, which is the Re the rebels, and you've got um, also the first order. So when you choose your side, and um, you will actually get unlock a hero character. So I believe I've chosen the first order, as you can see by the symbol there on the hologram, and. Um, when I chose the First Order, I got Captain Phasma as um, one of my heroes. Um, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure who it is you get for um, also the Resistance. I think it might be Finn. I'm not 100% sure. Because um, I, um, I have played a bit of online myself, but also not recorded it. Um, and I was playing this over at my friends yesterday and I was playing some of the online stuff and I do believe we saw Finn moving about so I do believe he's one of the heroes for the resistance. Um, now also when you load up um, Star Wars Battlefront 2 um, you may have noticed that you do get a crate. Now every time you load on to Star Wars Battlefront 2 you will get a daily crate um, so this is our one. Um, by completely completing challenges and all that on the online stuff or just throughout the campaign to pro um, push your pros uh, progress, um, you will unlock more crates. So I do believe there's a celebration crate for like, so whoever side then gets the most points at the end of the month or year or whatever, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but you do get celebration crates, um, they do come with like some um, better stuff and all that, well, I'll tell you the, the main colours that you'll get. You, get, you get white ones, you get blue ones, and you get yellow ones, so with each crate you get um, like so, um, about 3 to 5 um, uh, items that you can get, which uh, can be like, so, like what it says there. Um, that, so the, with the daily login crate, and um, you get a mix of three items. They can either be star cards, credits, or crafting parts. Star cards are used to um, boost your character. So let's say, say they've got like a weapon. Um, the star, let's say, you can get a star card to boost the, let's say, the power of the weapon. Let's say how many shots it fires. Um, credits they. Uh, like your Republic credits from the movie um, you can actually use them to purchase stuff so with um, the credits you can purchase new characters you can um, purchase um, like I said new ships and all that um, so you have to you do have to save them up um, crafted parts and um, they are for like say um, star cards that you have not unlocked and um, you can actually use them to craft them um, the star cards to let's say 
boost up the percentage. So say like say you unlock the star card, it's only doing fifty percent damage. You can actually use your crafting parts to actually boost that to like say twenty five percent, so it does more damage and all that. Um. But like I said, you get um, daily login crates and you get crates for like say, completing um, challenges and all that for the online stuff. And you get a celebration crate every so often as well. Now you do have um, crates here from the store and these do cost you um, credits. Now you're probably wondering what that symbol is underneath the credits. That symbol is for actually crystals. Um, just ignore that guys, that's just um, a friend of mine's I'm looking for Fortnite, but I don't play Fortnite anymore. Um, so underneath the Republic credits, that is actually for crystals. Um, and the only way to get crystals is by unlocking them in crates, I believe, um, and probably completing challenges as well. So yeah, you got a trooper crate, you got a starfighter, Crate and you got a hero crate. So a hero crate um, is the cheapest one, I believe. Yes, hero crate is the cheapest one. So that like said, this is um, your star cards. So by looking at that, um, that can be either one or two hero cards and one other item and crafting parts. Other items include Trooper Star Cards, um, Starfighter uh, Star Cards, Special Star Cards, Vehicle Star Cards, Victory Poses, Emotes, um, and Weapon Duplicate Star Cards, um, which can be converted into credits. With the Starfighter class, um, same again, it contains um, two, one or two Starfighter cards and one other item and crafting parts. Um, so I, once again, this one can contain um, super star cards, hero star cards, spe special star cards, vehicle star cards, infected poses, emotes, weapon duplicates, and uh, once again credits. Which, well, once again can be converted into credits. And um, same goes for the trooper create. Um, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and open our daily login crate and see what we get. So once again, um, like I said, um, you do get coloured ones. Um, these ones are all white because um, it's also the daily login stuff. But you do get um, different coloured ones. So you get like the green ones, you get blue ones. Uh, I think you do get purple ones as well. So with each colour, um, it's kind of slightly better, so it's a, like a better thing that you'll unlock. Um, but yeah, I've not had any of them for a while because obviously I don't have enough to buy um, any of the other crates anymore. As you can see, I've only got over a thousand credits. Um, so let me just talk to you what's what on the top right corner there. So on the f on the left, you got your credits, which I've got a uh, Mm, just over a f near enough 2000 in the middle that is your crystals and on the end that that is your crafting parts but anyway we're gonna go ahead and unlock these so we'll reveal the middle one first because i always reveal the window one first so let's go ahead so we got 75 credits and what else have we got we've got 15 crafting parts and finally let's see what this one is and we got something for the slave one for the Bubba for Bubba Fett. Well, Bubba Fett slave one. So a reinforced hull. So we'll go ahead and equip that. So um, as you can see here, these are like said um, challenges. So you got um, arcade stuff. You got fight for stability. And um, so. As you can see, like I said, um, the character that we unlock for the first order is Captain Phasma. Um, that's uh, the new faction chance, so defeat 50 enemies of each trooper class. Um, I've only the well, I've only done that what 15 things by the looks of. 
Well, I've defeated 53, so God knows why why it says defeat 50 when it's got 53 out of 200 there. God knows. Um, so as you can see, um, if you scroll over to play, you got the campaign, you got multiplayer stuff, and you also got arcade. Now with the arcade, um, you can't play that off offline. So um, that's what I like about Star Wars Battlefront 2 is um, it's actually two two player. Um, but you can only use two player on the arcade, you can't use two player on the campaign, which kind of sucks. Um, but the arcade mode is just basically a, a fun mode, it's just kind of like a free roam thing, so it gives you like a, a feel for the uh, characters. With playing um, every di um, different part of the arcade, you unlock um, like some new missions within the arcade. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I've played that with my mate before, but I've not actually played it on my console. So. Yeah, I might try that out later on. I think you do get an achievement for playing um, on the arcade mode as well. Um, here we got multiplayer mode. So with multiplayer mode, you got um, all your different other modes for like say your online stuff. So um, you got Galactic Assault there, which is this basically like um, your ground assault. So what it says here is battle on a series of large team orientated objective based maps visit iconic locations um you can op now this is what i like about um the galactic assault you not only got green vehicles but you can actually fly within the map as well and um, so you're actually allowed to pilot vehicles as well which is pretty cool um, I like the fact that they implemented that, so, because with the original, um, Battlefront, um, you did get vehicles that you were, um, allowed to jump in on the maps, but you didn't have any flying vehicles. But with this new, um, and improved, um, version of Star Wars Battlefront 2, you, it's actually giving you the option to do that, so, yeah, that, that's what I really like. Um, so... With and the and the classes you got um, four trooper classes. I will explain um, what um, the trooper classes are. And um, you also got your special um, trooper class. Um, well, you've also got special units that you, like so special reinforcements that you can call it, and you also got heroes as well. Um, Starfighter assault. Um, that's all air based and stuff. So. Um, like your TIE Fighters and your x -Files. Um So the Starfighter Assault, um, you get split up into two teams, same as the Galactic Assault, you get split up into two teams. With Galactic Assault, it can be like, say, you can be like, say, the CIS, which is the, the droids against the clones. You can be the Rebels against the Stormtroopers, or you can be the Resistance against um, the First Order. Uh, this varies on which map you're playing on. Um, I do believe that's the same with the, the Starfighter Assault. Um, it just varies on like, say, your location that you're playing on as well. Um, another thing that I forgot to mention it was um, with Galactic Assault, um, there's 40 players, so it's 20v20. Uh, whereas with um, Starfighter Assault, it's only 24 players. Um, so, with Starfighter so it says two teams of pilots take control of fighters, bombers, interceptors, and hero ships and engage in multi stage objective based space battles. So, um, I've not done any of the Starfighter stuff um, yet, so uh, I'm looking forward to trying that out. I have flown um, some of the Starfighters on Galactic Assault, but they are sometimes really hard to control. Um, because all the controls are different from the original Battlefronts. So it took a while to get used to, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you also got, um, now this is what I like that, that they've kept. Um, they have actually kept Heroes vs Villains, but they've kind of slightly improved it. So um, with Heroes vs Villains, um, you actually get to choose which. Um, Again, um, with the Star Wars Battlefront 1, you get to choose which hero you want to be. And so, I did leave, yeah, it's um, 4v4 uh, um, objective based. Um, so, 
with Halo vs Villains, um, one person on each team will actually be chosen as a target. And what the teams have got to do is they've got to actually try and eliminate that target to try and win the game. But once again, um, like I said, that that is all um, played on different maps. So you can be on, let's say, Camino for once, or you can be, let's say, I'm not too sure if you can end or um, I do. I believe um, I know some of the maps that you get, um, but I'm not too sure with the Heroes vs. Villains and the Starfighter assaults. Um, some of the maps you get with Galactic Assault, um, you can be on um, Kashyyyk, which is um, the plant of the Wikis. You've got Jakku, um, you've got um, Naboo, you've got Endor, etc. Et so, yeah, um, it's pretty cool. Um, sorry guys, uh, no I don't want an update right now, just go away. Um, what else have we got, we've got Strike here which is um, two teams of um, eight players compete in objective based scenarios. And we've also got Blast here which is for 20 players, and um, Blast invites players to leap into fast paced and close quarter combat. So yeah that's all your multiplayer stuff right there. Uh, of arcade, you can play it um, solo, you can play co-op, or you can play versus. So solo, take on um, arcade by yourself and face off against the AI. Um, co-op is also a multiplayer. Guys, was just trying to sort out a couple of things or less. Stupid computer. Um, with co op, um, what I hate about computer is that it's just really annoying. But, and I am back to it. Um, of course, but that um, is a uh, split scheme, like I said, so you can actually get, like, um, say, a family member, like your brother or sister, your mum or dad, or just, like, a, f a friend that wants to come over and play a couple of video games. Um, you can play multiplayer with them. Um, you've also got um, Versus, which is, like, say, um, you actually fight each other. So, one can be, like, say, on the Jedi side, one can be on the Sith side, etc. Um, which is pretty cool. Um, but, um, next I will show you the collection. So, with each collection, um, you get different stuff. So, also, um, you got your Assault class, you got your Heavy class, Officer, Specialist, Enforcer, which is like, like say, another sort of specialist. Um, it's kind of like said news for like say, your hero stuff. Um, you got um, aerial sort troopers as well, and um, you got um, so this is like say, your vehicles. So you got armored vehicles, which is like say um, your ATST there, and you got your artillery, which is like um, your gunships. And you got speeders, um, you've also got fighters, and uh, interceptors, and you've got bombers as well. So, uh, as you can see, this is completely empty. So, as you can see, there it's got like uh, you can actually craft these things, um, but we're not going to spend any of our crafting parts just yet. Um, we'll try and unlock some of that later. Um, same goes for the interceptor and the bomber there. Um, so you got um, with each vehicle you got different abilities. Um, you press different buttons to activate them. So as you can see with the speeder here, you got the afterburner, um, laser barrage, and heat sink. Um, this is pretty cool. Ah, oh, typical go we are not in the mid right now. Um, 
as you can see, I've got another thing here for the bubble effect ship that I just unlocked, which was this one. Um, also, you press X to upgrade, upgrade it, but also you've got to equip it first. Um, but yeah, and so I've unlocked some of the heroes, and so um, bubble effect was free, and you got boss, which is free. Two you actually have to purchase. Um, with each one um, that's locked down, they do um, cost you a certain amount of credits to unlock. So, as you can see, looks there for 15. Raiders there for 15. Um, Lay's at, um, slightly less. She's there for 10. you got the second version of the um, Millennium Falcon, which is for Ray and Chewbacca. And that costs 5,000, and you got um, Tally Lintra, which is like um, a version of the A Wing, as you can see there. Um, so, yeah, we will definitely see to that. Um, but we'll probably unlock them at a later date. Oh, for God's sake, right. I'm gonna have to change the settings on this, which is annoying. Display and set, volume, do, do, do. headset and speakers. Right, sorry about this, guys. I really get annoyed when people try to interrupt my videos. You're interrupting! If you're angry, 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 stomp your feet. <laughs> I'm gonna bet slap you in the map. If you're angry, 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 and you really wanna show it, if you're angry, 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 stomp your feet. I'm seriously gonna bet slap you because you're just really gonna interrupt my recording. Thank you very much for that. You're welcome. And I am not playing any of the online stuff, I'm actually gonna be playing the campaign, so. Bye bye. You motherfucker. Uh, Look, I'll speak to you when I'm done, okay? You better. Right. Get your ass. Bye for now. Sorry about that, guys. Um, settings. Uh, change that back to head. There we go. Um, so we are going to be playing the campaign, so let's go. <laughs> go ahead and play that before my... Fred Allen interrupts again. Um, like I said, I really don't like people interrupting my um, my videos. Um, sorry, I'll just close the door over here. Um, but it does happen. Um, mainly, um, it's mainly Alan that kind of invites me to the party, and I kind of I kind of really blame him as a such because he doesn't know that I'm recording unless I message him beforehand. Um, but to be honest, I didn't see Alan's name on online. Um, we also just came on. But anyway, we're going to be playing some uh, the campaign, so let's go ahead and get recording now. So go ahead and play campaign. Um, oh, so you actually get to choose the difficulty that you want. And um, play. Um, adding virtual story with a uh, friendly chained combat and that challenge that's challenging but fair merciless enemies and fight for survival and authentic Star Wars story Explorer focus on story scenery and combat without difficulty and uh, we will put it on soldier because we well, I like a bit of uh, a, a challenge, so we'll, we'll keep it on uh, on soldier. So we'll go ahead and do that. We're just waiting on that loading.
a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. So I always like to do the title scoot. Invincible Thief, which is a real bullshit. Deception, infiltration, extraction. She's special forces. Hide in Versio. Inferno Squad. Commander Versio. You must be important. Look at me. So let's talk facts. That's what I'm here for. You have the activation code. I've got the ability to help you out. Just give me the code. You know we can really use someone like you. Just help me and I'll help you. It's that easy. I'm gonna get what I want eventually. My best technicians are slicing into your droid right now. Take on my offer. All I want is the code. The Empire's time has come. You don't have to go down with it. You're right. The Empire's time has come. VZ-626. VZ-626. What have we here? An ID-10 tactical droid. You were way more advanced than the ID-9. Slicing into you is not gonna be easy. Might I suggest a less invasive procedure? Wish I could, but we don't have the droid's access code. Might I suggest finding the access code? The captain's working on that in the detention center. Until then, the only way to access this droid's data is to pry the memory core out of the- <laughs> Shucky, shucky, if it will. Which can't do anything if the droid is deactivated. Until oh, you should have that. Bye. The ID10 has been remotely activated. Droid, execute the plan. Download the ship's schematics from their computer. That's just pretty cool. Um, we can actually use this. Find the schematics. Attention. Right. We have an enemy droid on the loose. Send reinforcements immediately. That is what I would say. Don't touch them. Okay. That's not allowed. Here we go. We got her. Use the ventilation system to reach me. That's not a problem. Gotta watch it for that, which is like a short grid. Uh, also, we will be careful. So what we'll do is we'll stick it up there and this guy shock him. Command is expecting updates before Endor if possible. So we'll wait for that guy to leave the room and leave the room. We'll go ahead and shock this guy. 
of sound to interact with. So I'll just check along here and make sure we've not missed anything. Can't do anything to him because he's not killing right now. It's fine. I'm trying not get. I'm trying not get caught. Find another way. Oh shit! So we gotta be careful now. Sneaky with us. There we go. There we go. So that maps all the all the guys, which is pretty pretty good. You'll need to deactivate it from one of their terminals. Contact me when it's done. Yeah, not the problem. Look at that guy, so he didn't trick out anything. If you're done, regroup with me. It's time. To make sure I don't touch anything. There we go. This is Richard. There she is. There she is. Right on time. Let's go. But I think that that flick you. Ships to the Galan system. 
With this ruse, we will divert the Empire's attention away from Sullust. We are amassing the fleet in preparation for our attack on Endor. Join us. We need every available ship to strike a decisive blow on the The rebels Empire. still think we don't know about Sullust. <laughs> they have no idea what's waiting for them at Endor. We need to keep it that way. If the Rebels decrypt that transmission before I delete it, everything will fall apart. So we've got blasters over here. Do we want to take the blaster? And that kind of puts us into first class. So we'll have a look around here. See if there's anything. Nope. Go for a tick tick. Shit, 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 No, 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 no. That was too close. That was too close for my liking. Anything through here? Oh, there's a thing through here. What have we got here? Cool. Collectible. Okay, so we found a collectible. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't want to go down. I don't want to have a look down see if there's anything down here. Probably not, but we can always have a look. There's a drive here. Anything else? Okay, so I can't get down there. Right, okay. So we found we found a collectible, which is pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and open this door. Oh shit. Well silent eh. Oh, you motherfucker, you just had to speak. Hello, bitch. Agent, Fuck you. I've reached the communication center. Deleting the message will trigger their alarm. Be ready for extraction. Understood. Fuck you, you stupid dude. Okay, that's in dead. So, we'll go ahead and extract that. We have new orders. The Imperial fleet will move to the far side of Endor. There we will wait for the rebels to attack. Then... Purge complete. There's nothing for the rebels to learn. Attention! An Imperial prisoner has escaped. He is extremely dangerous. Find her! Yeah, no shit. We will go ahead and take this. I'm on the move. Fuck you guys. There we go. Oh shit. No! Where the fuck did you come from? That's bullshit! I'll secure a blaster and reach the extraction point. I'm on the move. So is the Corvus. <coughs> Watch out for the 
down. <laughs> you got me now, do you? You got me now, do you? I don't think so. Alright, let's get the fuck off the ship. <laughs> Lock and loaded. The last one! No shit! I always like to explore the ship before I leave, just in case I've missed anything. Gone. I don't really got that. Everything's okay in here. Okay, so we're heading downstairs. Oh, there's stairs now. Alright, hello. Oh shit, they're shooting from behind. Oh fuck. Eh, uh, okay. Nope. <laughs> You're not getting me that either. Go that way in a minute, make sure nobody else is in there. Fuck you. Got her. Fuck you. Huh, <laughs> two shots to the heat. Take that bitch. Anything else in here? Hmm. See, I always, I always uh, like to explore. Ow. Ow! Fuck did that come from? <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Where's that medic? I'll show you medic on it. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? No. Ah. So was one. There's always one. Alright. Got everything from there. We're quicker looking here. We want to go that way, but we'll have a quick look in here before we leave. Uh, nope. Okay, so we can shoot that part now. <coughs> Jesus. Fuck you. 
Fucking bitchy lady. Right. Um, any control panel on this one? Nope. Um, the power will come through, but I can always shoot that door at. Need a slice. Just in case. A wee bit of fun. Oh, that was a lucky shot. Come on. There we go. I'm going to put that there. Reach it. Do, do, do. But anything else in there? Um, not much by the looks of it. Ow! Ah, we are gone. Looks like you're still second in command. Oh, I'm patient. I can wait. Agent Miko, those jump calculations were perfect. Thank you, ma'am. Hope the landing wasn't too rough. Been through worse. Remember the job S incursion? Still haunts my dreams. Contact the Admiral. Yes, Commander. And the message? The fleet's location is still safe. Today, the rebellion died. Mm -hmm. uh, can I close this? Oh, I can skip it. One target dead ahead. Follow my lead. Understood, Commander. Well, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. Um, this was um, Star Wars Battlefront 2 um, campaign, so we completed the first part. Um, by the looks of it, we are now on Endor, um, and bit, I take it some rebels. So, yeah, we'll get to that at some point. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please leave a like. Also, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And also, please comment if you want to see more Star Wars Battlefront 2. Um, I will definitely do more of the campaign. I am going to do some of the online stuff as, as well. But with the online stuff, I'm going to add a bit of a twist to it. So please com comment what you think the twist will be. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like I said, please leave a like. Let's aim for five likes on this video. Um, also, like I said, please subscribe if you're new to my channel and that way um, you get notified of all my recent content. So please make sure to hit that bell button. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next video. Peace out everybody.